Hey everybody, it's Michelle, <clears throat> and what I'm making today is a dollhouse bed. I'm dressing a bed for my um, dollhouse. So I thought, I got it almost put together, I thought I'd do a quick video. I didn't do like the tutorial, but I'll kind of show you what I did. And um, I said I'd take you step by step on doing my dollhouse, so I'm going to work on the bedroom. And right now I'm just doing the pieces parts and then once I get in and start doing the wallpaper and the carpet then I'll video over there in the dollhouse. But anyways, I just thought I'd share this with you and take it apart so you can kind of see. This, I purchased this on eBay a lot, like, goodness, it was probably at least six years ago, maybe five years ago, I don't know. But anyways, I got it off of eBay. I don't even remember who. It's made out of wood. It's very shabby chic. It's a whole set I have. Um, and it was pretty inexpensive. And I got the dressing table, a nightstand, and a rocking chair to go with it. But anyway, so it's made out of wood. And I'm going to duplicate it and make my own. It won't be as nice. But anyways, so then what I did was it, it came with this is how it came and then it came with this rolled piece that's going to make a rolled pillow but I haven't gotten that far yet so here's a piece of foam that I bought from Joann's it comes there for the chair cushions and I cut it to size and then I just took uh, muslin fabric and I wrapped it and glued it nobody's gonna see the bottom so that's gonna be the mattress and the sheet and then it tucks right in right on there and then, let me show you this cool, um, I, I don't want to get into that because it'll be too long. But anyways, I found this cool package at a local little store of mine that had all this itty bitty miniature trim in it. And it had, and I bought it for two bucks. So it had this, it looks like velvet and it looks like it's punched out. And it's just sheer ribbon. So I glued that along the bottom of the bed and that looks like, um, a bed skirt and then I also got this piece of trim was in there too a little tassel so that's awesome so I glued that on the bedspread well now I'm gonna make the bedspread <clears throat> and actually this foam was green and I was a little concerned when I first put it on because I'm like oh no you could see through the muslin you can see through the green but it worked out perfect because it gave it this is just a tan piece of muslin it looks like a bed sheet it, it gave it the cast of the green so it's it worked out perfect I love it but anyways um so then I made my comforter and as all I did was you can see how I folded and glued there's no sewing I did not sew anything it's all folded over and glued and what I did was I bought and I go to Joann's and I just if I find like cute miniature fabrics I just buy like a quarter of a yard so it's relatively cheap and a quarter of a yard gives you plenty to work with miniatures so here's the fabric that I used for um, underneath this piece of lace and what this was this was a skirt that I bought from the Goodwill and it had like a silky fabric underneath it and I cut it up and I've been using it for tons of crafts, flowers, and now I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to make the perfect bedspread. So what I did was I just laid this on top of this fabric and I cut it out. Um, I made it a couple inches longer on each side than what my mattress is to hang over, of course. And I just laid it on top and then I glued it over, glued the edges over, and then I folded this back and then this was raw and exposed so then I cut another strip of the pretty fabric and I just glued and folded it over like a strip and then I glued it on top and folded it over so it looks like the sheet coming back and then I glued some more of that trim underneath so it looks like my sheet has the ruffle and then you can see it's just folded over to look like the beds made folded back and then I glued that trim on the ends so now I'm going to, this will all get glued down because it's not going to go anywhere. So let me just kind of show you. So there it is on my bed. And what I'll do now is I'll put it to the end and I'm going to glue it and fold, fold the pieces down. So then you can see how it's going to look, look laying there. And then in that kit, which I'll do a little video 
Well, I'll see what my time is. I'll show you the kit that I picked up. It's a one of a kind. In it came these little applique, crocheted applique. So I'm going to make little throw pillows to go on. And then I have the rolled piece, which I will go, I have to go find it because I stored it away. And I will come back and show you this when it's all completed. I just kind of wanted to give you the steps to show you how I did it. And um, so I'll be back once I assemble it and get it all glued down and show you the finished product. Hold on. Be back in a minute. <laughs> all right, so I glued, I glued this down. So see, it's not going anywhere. And it just took a dab of glue, a dab of glue. I used my hot glue gun for this because you don't see it. But for trimming and edging stuff, um, I use, this is the best stuff. And I keep it upside down in a toothpick holder. So I don't have to mess with it. This is the best glue. I would use this for my scrapbooking stuff too if it was acid free. It dries quickly. It's not messy. It dries clear. The thing doesn't get stuck and when it does it pulls right out. It's the best glue. But anyways that's what I use for most of my miniatures and it works on the fabric too. But now I'm going to make these pillows. So I just cut and I eyeball things. I don't really do it like to the scale charts, but if you're doing like this is a one and 12 inch dollhouse scale. Um, so if you're into scale, there's things on the internet that you can go and print what the correct scales of things would be. But anyways, um, I'm a good eyeballer. So in this, I bought this in that scale already. So I cut two um, pieces of fabric. Well, four really. And that's of the pretty designer fabric. And I'm going to make two pillows to lay to lay on my bed. And I cut them bigger because I want them. I cut it two inches by two and a half because I'm going to fold over and glue them together. So then they'll lay down and they'll be about the right size. So I'm going to glue my edges. And um, I'll put a cotton ball inside. And then I'll glue. You can hand stitch around this. I might do that too. I don't know because the glue is kind of hard to stuff it and flip it. Um, but I think I'm going to put a lace border so I'll get by with not having to inside, you know, do it inside out. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do. So I'm um, just going to glue the, the edges. I'm going to glue a hem so they become smaller. And then stuff it and I'll show you when I'm done with that. All right, so I thought I'd just show you a little bit. <clears throat> I put the pillow together, so I'll show you on this one. And like I said, I took my pieces of fabric, um, and I just glued the edging over for like a hem. And I did all four sides, so I'll do this one to kind of show you. I just put a little bit of glue. That's all you need. I use my handy dandy toothpicks to help me just fold the edge over. And once you do that, once you get it over, just push it down. Hold it with my finger for a second. Do the next side. So that's the hem on the underneath. And I already did this one. And now I'm going to take a cotton ball and I'm going to lay it in between. I'm going to kind of square it out just to get the pull the edging edge ugh, edges out a little bit. And then I'll lay this on top. Because I don't want to flip it. It's too small to turn, turn, be turning inside out. And then I'll just put my glue around each edge and hold it down. And then it'll come out looking like this. Okay, there you go. Finished. Finished the bed. Make a detailed look.
I made the pillow shams and just regular pillows. Um, but I don't know. I, I sewed the back of these and I put a cotton ball. I put a little pearl on the glue still drying. But I don't know if I want to use the neck roll. I have to look at some videos. First of all, it does cover up the pretty bed. But I have to play around with it. Then it covers up my sheets. But I don't know if I like it just plain without the neck roll. Or you're not even going to notice it. So anyways, there's the completed completed project. There's the neck roll. This did come with the bed. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I might, I might save it and redo it for another bed. We'll see after I get my dollhouse. Alright, so now I'm going to probably make some curtains and a throw for the little chair and some little doilies for the tables, but stay tuned. I'll do some uh, videos and once I get the room wallpapered, I'll take you through that too. Thanks for watching. Bye.